Hi, this is Dana, and on this channel I speak about spiritual warfare. Um, in this video, uh, God has guided me to speak about a specific topic, um, namely the inner child, the subconscious level. Uh, now, this is a topic of much discussion. I think um, it's very well known um, that you must do um, the healing on the subconscious level for all the traumas and everything that has been um, creating uh, negative energy throughout your entire life. So it's not only trauma, but also there are fears, there are concerns, there are uh, different uh, type of um, I, uh, depressions, <laughs> uh, reasons for which you have depressions and so on and so forth. Now, uh, God has guided me to convey the message about this topic, <clears throat> actually to bring to the table a few arguments which might not be as common, um, widely known. Uh, and one of them is that, um, for example, many of the attacks are being, the, I'm referring to the, uh, the advantages of doing this work of uh, healing of your inner child, of your subconscious level, which essentially requires you to do um, a lot of uh, spiritual work. Um, it's uh, also uh, connected with energy work, energy healing, self-healing, but also uh, it's more of a spiritual work and psychological work where, for, where you um, go in depth uh, in order to understand <clears throat> what are the traumas and what are the wounds and and so on and so god is uh, guiding me to speak about a few uh, advantages which you gain from doing that because it seems like many people are disregarding it dismissing it like not being uh, so important and god specifically shows me that in general men are the ones who are disregarding it uh, and uh, essentially they don't view it as relevant, uh, probably focusing on um, spiritual warfare. But this is why God wants me to get, convey this message, because um, I will show you how this is going to help you in your uh, spiritual fighting as warriors. Uh, one, um, uh, so the number one message is that uh, doing um, your healing on the subconscious level is critical uh, for because f in order to um, um, fight off attacks which come uh, during dream time. So this is a very common known um, thing that uh, much of the spiritual attacks uh, are being sent at sleep time, either through darkness or their individual who they themselves actually uh, during sleep time will connect to others. These people are paid. These people are mercenaries and they do this for a living. Um, they connect to your uh, subconscious level during dream time in order to create a hook on you. And this is really important because um, first of all, uh, you will not be aware of it. Uh, and if you don't discover it uh, fast enough and you don't heal it uh, and you can't, don't cut it off, they can actually then uh, multiply the types of programmings uh, which they create on you. And uh, this is very dangerous, of course. Now, if you heal your um, subconscious level, your inner child as is commonly known, <clears throat> you, um, the, it's the uh, subconscious level which fights off. Yeah, so they cannot reach you anymore. And this I know from experience God has shown to me as I was going through my own uh, healing of my uh, subconscious level. Um, God has shown to me uh, during sleep time uh, how my subconscious was uh, fighting off attacks. And this is when you become safe. Uh, namely that they cannot uh, actually create on you during sleep time. Uh, so this is very important. Your subconscious level literally uh, does spiritual fighting when it's healed. This is why it's important to heal it. Because it's like a guardian, sort of say. 
It's your own guardian. It protects you. It fights in your name. It's yours, so it's normal to fight for you, right? But um, as I explained in 3D, there is a separation of, uh, con of consciousness between subconscious and conscious uh, levels in order not to integrate, not to work together. So you don't be, so you won't be as strong, because as long as this uh, separation, uh, then they can do work on your subconscious level and weaken you, as you don't see uh, clearly. So this is one thing. Your subconscious, when it's healed, fights off attacks during uh, your sleep uh, time. Yeah? And it also rejects uh, hypnosis uh, and um, all attacks associated to hypnosis, because there are many. It's not just one. There are many different types of attacks, uh, which uh, are different components of hypnosis. Yeah, Okay. Uh, that's one thing. Another thing is that literally uh, you need a healed subconscious to connect with your uh, um, supraconscious, the higher self, basically. So you can actually have a, a dialogue with the divine. You need this also, not so you will be able, uh, as you uh, advance in healing your subconscious level, you will um, uh, start receiving downloads and communication with the divine realm, with your, um, with your ancestors, with your um, spiritual team, with God, with uh, deities from the divine realm, and so on. Um, <clears throat> if you have an inner, uh, healed inner uh, child and subconscious level, um, you have an increased, uh, um, better, <laughs> uh, increased or better uh, presence in astral. So astral presence, connecting to astral, uh, uh, is directly proportional uh, with the level of uh, health, <laughs> of how healed is your subconscious level. The more um, uh, wounds and the more... Um, damage done on your subconscious level on your inner child uh, less uh, the less you will be able to connect to astral or to stay connected to astral because as a good warrior you stay connected to astral continuously you don't need to connect and disconnect connect and disconnect and you don't need to make efforts to do this you stay anchored in astral continuously and this way you because let me explain something which Probably some of you already know. The ideal uh, strategy as a spiritual warrior is that you fight um, whatever bondage and attack is being created before it reaches you. And in order to be able to fight it before, you must have a good uh, communication with the divine realm. You must be connected to astral constantly because unfortunately these scripts are working constantly. So it's not... Um, so, um, these are a, a few reasons for which, um, staying connected to, uh, uh, healing your uh, inner child, healing your, uh, subconscious level, uh, is extremely important and brings huge advantages. Now you do this, uh, healing, uh, through, and also you, um, uh, as you do this, of course, but God is showing me to say it, although I thought it's. Uh, clear uh, as you stay connected and anchored in astral um, then you can also uh, deal with uh, parallel uh, timelines which are being opened with fake embodiments uh, which they try to uh, put on you with any of the attacks actually because you see them because all of these are spiritual attacks so this is really important you do uh, healing for on subconscious level uh, th through uh, bondage breaking, through energy healing, through ancestral healing. Because as I explained before, um, probably I will I would say probably nothing is new. All of these bondages that we are living uh, in this current lifetime come from other um, lifetimes when, as I said before, 
either you or somebody from your um, uh, lineage uh, was embodied, uh, was uh, incarnated and lived through that bondage creation. Okay? Um, so, for this reason, um, healing uh, your uh, ancestral... Uh, cre I mean... He, ancestral healing is very useful to you because everything that happens to you comes from somewhere. Somebody in your lineage lived that before you. So that means essentially what I'm trying to say, but it's rather late here. <laughs> so I'm not finding the proper words. Um, the fact is that 